Good morning. How y'all doing today? This is Kay. Happy Wednesday morning. Bright and early. <laughs> I've been up since about, uh, I know I see 222. Here it is, 358, almost 4 a.m. I'm washing a uh, load of clothes, get my work clothes together. I got an appointment this morning. I'm going to try to make it to. And uh, we're going to get into the daily bread, y'all. I slept good, just up, thinking, and just meditating with the Lord for a little bit. Okay, now, today's daily bread is going to be coming out of Job 37, 5, and 6. God thundereth marvelously with his voice, great things doeth he, which we cannot comprehend. For he said to the snow, be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. Again, that's Job 37, 5 and 6. The reflecting, reflection. Often people are heard to utter, God moves in mysterious ways. Superficially, this is true, but it's essentially a simplification of a truth long ago divided by the apostles that God Will and power is beyond your understanding. What are we able to know or to guess in his creation here on earth? In its endless forms, most beautiful. Often our worries are about what God may have in store for us. So we become anxious over things beyond our control, causing us to forget that as our loving creator, God wishes for us to also simply enjoy our being. Worship takes many forms. Among them may be counted the simple pleasures of appreciating our natural world, rather than worry about God's plans beyond one comprehension. We may instead focus on serving Him within the immediate moment, herein enjoying the world He has made for us. Prayer. Praise be to our Heavenly Father, from whom hand all creation stems, infinite it is a form of splendor, everlasting in its beauty. Praise to be our Heavenly Father, whose maj majesty extends beyond our world and awaits in the paradise beyond. Amen. Okay, let's go to the quiz. Never fails. <laughs> uh, a notification. <laughs> God thundereth marvelous, marvelously with his voice. <laughs> Great things do of he, which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, Be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. Job. All right, I hope that was encouraging to you. Oh, I'm trying to get ready here. I got a couple of hours, so, you know, I might lay back down, but I just wanted to get the daily bread in. Up praying and just take it one day at a time, y'all. Honor your mother and father and mother-in-law. Oh, that's the story about David Jacobs. Okay. Well, Miss Kay got some things to do this morning before she go to work. So that's why I'm really, really up, trying to get myself together. I'm going to have me a yogurt, drink me some water, maybe eat a bowl of cereal, and then I'm going to be out the door in a couple of hours. So I want y'all to have a blessed and wonderful day. Remember, like I said yesterday, keep you cool. Hang in there. Say your prayers. And everything's going to be okay, y'all. We got to take one day at a time. We know the Lord is soon to come. We just got to be patient. And like like it says, God know we get anxious. Because that's how I be sometimes anxiously waiting. You know, you just, oh, Lord, okay, what's going on? But we got to just wait on it. I believe everything's going to be okay. So y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Can't get back with y'all later. Hope you enjoyed the daily bread. Bye now.